I'm here in my shop this weekend working on a fun project, this craftsman style bar stool. This project's been full of all sorts of challenges. It uses mortise and tenon joinery. These tenons have to be angled to match these splayed legs. And on top of that, these legs are tapered. So a lot going on here. But just like any project, this project needs to be finished sanded before it's done. One of the things I really don't like to do is break all these edges. That is, sand all these sharp corners off. Now I can just take a sanding block and go over them and try and make them all look the same. But I've found a better way, and that is a tiny round over bed. radius on this roundover is 1 16th of an inch, so it's pretty small. I simply just chuck it up into a trim router, adjust the base to where it's flush with the shoulder of the bit, and now I can go over all these edges and break those edges. It puts a micro roundover on there that doesn't really look like a roundover, but more like a sanded edge. Now these roundover bits come in several sizes. There's the 16th inch version that I've been using on this project, but they also make an eighth inch roundover as well. I use both of these in my shop quite often, and quite frankly, they've become one of my favorite tools to use. First, let's start with the tiniest bit, the 16th inch roundover. This bit barely breaks a sweat as it removes very little material. However, when used with a trim router, it can easily break the edge of a finished project. It offers a fast, convenient way to get a consistent roundover every time. Here's a few tips when using this bit. First, you may want to adjust the bit slightly deep, so the shoulder protrudes a bit past the bottom of the router. The reason is there is a tendency when holding a router to accidentally rock the router as you route. This can lift the bit up away from the workpiece. With the bit slightly lower, it will help the bit continue the cut if this happens. It may leave a slight edge, but this can easily be removed when sanding the face of the workpiece. Second, make it a habit of attacking each edge from two directions. So route the face of the workpiece first, and then route along the edge. This will typically remove any spots that got missed on the first pass. The 8th inch roundover bit is double the size of the 16th inch roundover bit, but it's still very small. When you see the results side by side, you can see the difference. Here are several tips when using the 8th inch roundover. First, if you are looking for less of a roundover than a full 8th inch, you can adjust the bit to be slightly shallow. So the cutting edge will be below the base by just a hair. Now you can route the face and then the edge. This will give you a roundover that is sort of between a 16th and an 8th inch. Another great use for the 8th inch roundover is to create a decorative edge. You can set the depth so the shoulder of the bit protrudes 1 16th of an inch below the base of the router. This will route a micro bead along the edge. These quarter inch shank bits are precision manufactured by Amana Tools. They integrate thick, high grade carbide for the cutters, which are brazed onto a solid body, along with precision, high quality bearings for long life. So give yourself a break from hand sanding and try a set of tiny roundover bits on your next project. 